One in four children in Oklahoma is struggling with hunger. And when they come to school, many of them are coming to school to eat. It is a massive issue. And those children didn't choose those circumstances. They didn't choose what they're living in. Um, it's not their fault. I lived in Spencer for about 30 years, and we stayed there until uh, the house got burned down, which was about three years ago. He just always had that uh, dream that he wanted to help feed people, so he uh, decided that raising the garden and giving vegetables to the people that couldn't afford to buy them themselves, so that's why he started the community garden. And when my husband was living, the income was pretty well okay because we had both our well, check we could pin on. But after he passed, it's just mine. That made it pretty challenging. We all are vulnerable, and most of us try to hide that. But a child can't hide hunger. A grandmother can't hide the ability that her Social Security or the little bit of retirement or her greeter job at the local grocery store is not enough to support three or six grandchildren. She's not the only one. You know, there's so many that are raising great-grandchildren or grandchildren in that position. Most of the people that go struggling, they, it's not because they want to, it's because something has happened in their life to cause them to be in that condition. I'm not gonna say you want to give up, but you just, uh, it just come a time you don't know which way to turn. And it get very disheartened. If these backpacks didn't go home on the weekends, they would not eat. When the child's vulnerable, the family is vulnerable. If you can take some of that responsibility and stress off of grandmother, is massive. It's a big help. It helps me with, uh, to make my food stretch further. That's an extra meal I don't have to worry about when the kids are out of school. It takes all of us to step up together and do something. We don't want to just feed the child for a day. I mean, we want, we want to feed their future, which is a huge part of what education is and what the Regional Food Bank's doing. When you're able to support, if you're able to give financially to these children, to these families, to these grandparents, it opens lives for people and futures to where they can really thrive. From my personal experience, I've, I've seen um, someone who was struggling to perform in class, and when those food needs were met through the pantry, the students' grades increased because there was a stability and they knew where the food was coming from and it was la one last worry for this child. That child was able to graduate, be on an honor roll, and then go on to a collegiate athletic program. And that's because of donors like you that are giving to these children. 